Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of exclusive tea that I have right here for you today from the original setup. I got a little bit hungry. I'm a little, no, I'm, I mean, I'm not hangover because I couldn't drink yesterday, but I'm like tired from the party. So I was like, I need like an ice cream. So I'm just going out for a little bit of an ice cream. And girl, it is November. Halloween is over. October is over. Happy, happy, happy November. It is Thanksgiving's month, bitch. Girl, I am so excited because Thanksgiving, I'm all about it. You know, I love every single holiday. I, I think by now you already know that. I love Thanksgiving so I cannot wait to like cook. I'm the one who cooks on my family. I'm the one who does everything. So I am on, these, these are my months, bitch. Girl, but it is time to talk about the real housewife of New Jersey because I have the tea, girl. Get ready because Margaret Josephs is in trouble, girl. Okay, I told you yesterday, it is now everywhere that an audio of Margaret Josephs allegedly using the N war in a very despicable way was leaked is everywhere you know and we are just coming from what happened with ramona singer so you already know that right well i told you what is going to happen is bravo going to like fire her um the whole season of new jersey just got filmed you know so how is this going to work out are they gonna fire her and then um, uh, um, Bravo is gonna put a thing uh, at the big a disclaimer saying like, oh, this was filmed before she got fired, or like, what the hell is going to be happening here? Well, I'm not sure what is gonna happen with the season, but what I can tell you right now, exclusively, is that Bravo already knows everything that is going on and is taking cards in this situation. So they already had a conversation with Margaret Josephs, okay? And they want, I mean, they were like, what the F is this? They already are calling her out. They already tell her that she needs to uh, get in front of this and that she needs to, um, I don't know, take any accountability or, or, or say what the F is this. Now, she is trying to say, right because her excuse is that this was created with artificial intelligence you know that's what she is claiming out there now i know that she is already blaming some bloggers you know especially i think she have a very very deep beef with a housewife historian and i think she thinks it's her but you know the the, the account that it comes from is from another completely random account you know but they told margaret what is this what does this mean why are you saying that this is in fact your voice because the thing is that margaret josephs before all of this went on uh, on twitter on x you know and reply and say like it is so cute that you are trying to duplicate my voice so basically because the thing is like in in the audio we didn't know if it was actually Margaret. Yeah, it's very close to her, but we didn't know. So now she is confirming that in fact, the voice that we heard is her own voice. So she has been doing everything like super wrong. Now, not only that guys, listen to this. Apparently, the executive um, at Bravo told Margaret that she has to take legal action against whoever did or, or put this audio out there if it's true that it was a duplicated uh, not a duplicated but a, a, it was created with you know into artificial intelligence you know and that she needs to do it to prove the world that in fact it is not her now the situation is that if she doesn't take 
legal action against this person, okay, it will be because she knows that the audio is real and she cannot fight it. And also, once we go into a legal situation, everything be everything will have to come to light. So whoever have this audio probably has other things of Margaret and will expose all of these things also just because of the lawsuit. So right now, Margaret is between, how you say over here, a sword and a wall? I don't know. I mean, she is in a horrible place, you know, because either she take accountability and she said, and she, uh, you know, um, says that she said that word, you know, uh, and apologize, or she has to deny it and legally go after the person who leaked that audio, right? Or if she doesn't take any legal action is because she knows that the audio is real. This is the wor worst case scenario for Margaret Josephs. The only good way, the only good, yeah, I'm sorry, my English is everywhere today, but like, the only way that this could have a good result for Margaret is if, guys, she sue whoever put this out there, and then they are able to prove that the audio is fake. That will be the only way that she is gonna be able to clean her name. But I don't think that that's going to happen because we all know that that is literally her voice. Bravo told her, if you don't do this, you are fired. You are gone. We are not, Bravo is not messing with racism shit any longer, okay? They literally just pulled out Ramona from BravoCon because of what just happened with her, okay? So this is huge news because, well, karma, bitch, you know, she has been trying and trying to destroy the world. Well, guess what is going to happen, okay? You cannot be going around playing Lisa Rena and think that nothing is going to happen. Horrible. I mean, insane. So what do you think is going to happen, guys? Do you believe that she will sue this person? Now, I'm a little bit worried for a housewife historian because, I mean, you know, I know her for social, from social media and uh, she has been on one of, I know I have been on her podcast, you know? So, and I think she also was on one, on one of my, um, uh, YouTube videos uh, on one of my panels so and, and I know that I mean she's not behind this so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that Margaret is gonna go after her thinking that it's her when in fact it's not her you know so I don't know. I don't. I, I have no idea what is going to happen, guys. But let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea and the exclusive tea that is happening in this Bravo War, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Oh, guys, guys, before I leave, tomorrow I'm leaving to Vegas for BravoCon. Okay. So I'm gonna be putting a lot of exclusive material and it's going to be on my Patreon. So go and subscribe right now to my Patreon if you wanna get all the exclusive tea behind the scenes is going to be right there, okay? So see ya, bye.